Good morning, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I am going to teach you how to create a group text on either iPhone or Android, one that works and interacts with a group that has both people on iPhone and both people on Android. Or people on iPhone and some people on Android. That's the frustration we all get. This is a follow-up video. This is a follow-up video to a video I did previously. Check out the link in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. Teach Mom How is the channel I created as a way to teach my mom how to use technology. I hope this video helps. Let's get started. Okay, so, so guys and gals, the reality is that sending group texts on iPhones when, when multiple people have, when some people in the group have iPhone and some have Android, is it's kind of a pain in the butt. You can't change the name. You can't add people to the group once you've made it. Anytime you want to change that group, you've got to create a whole new group and add all the people into it plus the new ones again. So here is the solution. Currently, the best solution is to use a third-party app. The one I'm showing you how to use in this video is called GroupMe. This is GroupMe here. You can make groups on this. You can change them. You can add to them. You can remove them. You can do all kinds of stuff that you cannot do in the native texting apps on iPhones and Androids. So first step, download GroupMe. You simply go to your App Store or your Google Play Store and you search GroupMe. It's a very, very popular uh, group texting app that a lot of people, I bet you'll find about 80% of the people you know already have an account with it, even if they're not using it, okay? So there it is, group me right there. It's that blue one with the smiley hashtag. Okay, you download that. Once you're in group me, obviously anyone you want to add to this group will also need group me. So send out your one last text me uh, group text message to everybody and tell them to download group me. Then you create a group right here by starting a text, top right corner, see that little paper and pencil? You click on that and you click start group. And then you can name your group. My family, we have one called the Clapier family for our siblings and, and parents and nieces and nephews and stuff. You can add a photo to that or a logo if you care to. Okay. Choose a photo. All right. I can pick whatever photo I want. Oh, it's downloading from iCloud. All right. We'll make my, <laughs> my boy Andre here will be the cover photo for this group. Oops. Or we use this for work, okay? At, at our solar company, we use this all the time. So you can give it a description. What is this for? Okay. Then I click next. Now I gotta add people to it, all right? If they're in your phone, you can add them as a contact. You just start searching all of the people that you want to add to this group. Oh, great. It's got my phone number right on the screen. Looks like I'm going to get spammed. Anyways, you just start adding whatever contacts you want to this, to this group. And then we'll just add a few here just for kicks. Click done. And now I have a group here, a closed group. These are some settings you'll want to consider. A closed group is one where only the owner can add or remove people to it. A request to join group, if you want to turn that on, so people can request to join it. Or you can give it a, a unique personality and theme and things like that by customizing it like that. Okay, so that's how you create your group. Once you've created the group, once you've created the group, you can add anyone you want to this group by simply clicking the icon at the top right corner, clicking members, and add new members, okay? You can also remove people from the group because people are gonna be like, why on earth did Kurt add me to the family, to his family group when they see this? So I can remove people by just clicking on their name and removing them from the group. So somebody offends you, somebody posts something unprofessional, 
in a professional company group, you can simply remove them right here from the group. Okay, hope this helps. Again, this is a follow-up video on how to do group texting and how to change the name and whatnot. Check out that video in the comments below or in the description below. Also in the description below, I show you two other solutions. One called Voxer, another group texting app that I actually like more than GroupMe. GroupMe is just more common, so I use it a lot. More people have it, more people use it. And another one called Remind. Check out those videos. Remind allows you to send out a group text to anyone, iPhone or Android, without them having to download an app, an additional app, okay? So go check that one out. And I'll explain kind of the differences and the pros and cons to each, all right? Hope this helped. Be sure to like and subscribe to Teach Mom How. And if you have a question on anything that, that, that you can't figure out that my videos don't answer, please post that in one of the comments and I will make a video. I will learn how to do it if I don't already know and I will make a video answering your question. I do it every time even if it takes me a little bit of time to get back to you. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Thanks.